So you aren't too glad we brought a separate set of keys? <laughs> yep. Yeah. And John lost his keys. found is every store you go into has some sort of discount thrift store, be thrift store thank you it could be senior uh, veteran uh, depending on the day color so I would recommend whenever you walk into a thrift store that you find out what the uh, discounts are they can save you a lot of money yeah like for instance today we're in Idaho farm thrift store and they didn't have senior prices because they'll uh today today saturday they only have it on wednesday but they do have, have veteran vet every day, discount daily. every day so yep it's gonna save us money because we asked okay this was our thrift haul <laughs> got this mario brothers and this cool vintage case When I was in cosmetology school in the 80s, um, we used these to keep our combs and clips and stuff in there. So I knew that as soon as I looked at them, it was going to be a good deal. And they sell for 20, 40 bucks. For 25, this was a great find. These are about 30, 40 bucks um, profit. I mean, not profit, but that's what they sell for. And um, yeah, because they're like a security. So this is our total. It's only so you are too glad we brought a separate set of keys. <laughs> yep. And John lost his keys. So yeah, John got a discount because he's a veteran. Fifty-two bucks. I was thrilled. I thought we were going to be in the sixties. I got the sugar fruit and all kinds of fun stuff. So we're thrilled. That we're hidden. That's Look at this. Place. Club Nelson's Cafe. So cute. I like it. That'd be fun. Yeah, look at this. Silo oh, Sports Bar. How oh, nice. We should turn around and go the other oh, way. Oh, there's the theater, John. 
Oh, wow. Burley Theater. I wonder if it's closed. It looks like it might be. A Rupert, if you want to check out Rupert, yeah, that's fine. Well, we're just not going to Pocatello. We'll go there someday. No, not Pocatello today. No, definitely not. We didn't plan for that. Like time is playing tricks on me. Like my present now is my past. So lost in a familiar place while everybody's moving on. And I try to keep up with the
Comfort is nicer than hay burn. something we've done a few times um, it's a lot of fun if say you and your significant other want to do something for each other on Valentine's Day or maybe your anniversary um, to make it fun and different both of you go into a thrift store with a budget I don't know $25 or whatever and um, buy each other gifts yeah it's really fun we yeah, we've done it a couple of times and We've really got some cool. So the last time we did it was Valentine's Day in Boise. And what did we keep it at? Like 30 maybe, $30? Yeah, something like that. And I think you spent more than that, but you couldn't help yourself. <laughs> I'm so, yeah. so I'm dang charming. Because you know? I need my sunglasses. So anyway, um, it's a lot of fun. And we hid them from each other, didn't we? So we got home? No, we didn't. We decided to just right show there in the store. Each other. That's right. And we then... went and sat down uh, in the furniture section as we always do <laughs> on one of the couches. And we said, "I said, okay, I got this for you because I thought you'd really like this." And we did put a few things back, which is cool because we didn't waste our money. But yet we loved what we got each other. It yeah. was just a blast. And it was really fun when we were dating. We did that. It was like Christmas or something. And. We sat out on your living room floor. Yeah. And we gave it to you. Gave yeah. me that laughter um, sign. sign that we uh -huh. had in our condo, and um, I don't know. I gave you some other stuff, but that was super fun. It was so. Uh, yeah. But it works great for us because we know what each other likes because we're very similar. So what I like, John's gonna like, and vice versa. So it's easy for us. Well, obviously, you have to know what the other person likes. Well, I would imagine most couples yeah, know what each yeah, other likes. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, so just a tip in case you guys never thought wanted of that. to do something different maybe for uh, yeah. uh, a celebration, you know, Yeah. gift giving. For sure. Okay, heading home to Mule. Let's see that this beautiful... Do you want to talk about what we did today? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, I film it. You can talk. Okay. Well, we went to what's the name of the thrift store? Youth Ranch. Idaho. Yeah, yeah, Idaho Youth Ranch Farm. It's a chain of thrift stores in Idaho. They've got them in Boise, um, Twin Falls too. Yeah. Um. I guess. Just all of the uh, area towns, and um, it's.
it's a store that Cindy's gone into before, but not with me. And she said in the past that it's kind of a hit or miss. Uh, some of their stuff's overpriced, but you can't find good deals. And uh, I think we found some really good deals. Uh, what did we spend? Like fifty-two dollars? Yeah, I've already shared that. Oh, you did. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think All right. I think you were. Um, you but, went back uh, in the store when I I did that. Yeah. I let, let's recap. Did did we find anything that's like a solid? Didn't you find a couple of vintage things that you paid just a buck or two for? Yeah. Um, Those dishes or. Oh gosh, I got a Noritake tray, which is worth twenty to forty. Um, I kind of recapped a little bit when I was okay. talking in the car. But actually, it's not as good a haul as we normally get. I would say. Um, yeah, I think I think we, we got some okay. good uh, good ones. There so. just wasn't a whole lot in the store. That's the smallest little, um, uh, you know, cart full of things that I've. Uh, found. Look at that. What is that? Facebook.com Idaho Fallen Hero Memorial. Wow. It Staff was a, Sergeant some, somebody. It's a jacket, like encased in glass. Let me I see if I can. Could... Let me catch up. Oh, okay. I already am. Okay. I already am. So we'll go to the side now. Oh, wow. Oh, oh look at that, you guys. Oh, wow. oh I got to get it? Yeah. You want me to back up a little? No, that's cool. I got it. Okay. Wow, Would that's the really horn. cool. Uh, I'm glad we were where we were to be able to see that. I know. That... You see all the signatures on that thing? Not really. There was... Yeah, probably his whole platoon or oh my. Uh, his infantry division, whatever uh, he was in. Really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had a great day today. We did. It was really fun. So yeah, it's was, it was definitely worth it to come out here and I check out say, the towns and go to the thrift store. I think the little thrift stores we have in our town, mm -hmm. like the one that's like a block away from our Oh house, yeah, I filmed in there a few times. I bought myself a bike in there, a 10-speed bike for $10. Oh, that was there. That's right. Yeah. Then we bought mine from Facebook Marketplace, right? Yep. In Buell. Yep. And I... Uh, Bought that $60 valve you have listed on eBay for a dollar there. Brand new in the box. Oh, right. Uh, oh, and I bought that uh, printer laser cartridge there that I sold for $75. And did you tell everyone that uh, they have an area when you first walk in the store? Where yes, they many times. Okay. I think I've filmed that two or three times okay. already. It says free stuff but when you yeah, walk in. It seems like the smaller towns that have independent stores that are not for profit yes. uh, seem to have the best prices. Yeah, that one is amazing. They have great prices and really nice people and they're all volunteers. And then that's the senior community thrift store, I believe. And then the other one is the senior center. But um, and they are the ones with the 25 cents clothing. Which I've gone into many times. Amazing. It really is. Yeah.